Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to install a Socket 478 processor onto a motherboard. In this video you will learn how to install a simple processor that is based on the Pentium 4 platform for Socket 478. You simply take, uh, open up the socket, there's a lever on the side of the socket, you flip it up to a 90 degree angle, then you take your processor's package. You simply set the processor down into place. And this step is the same with processors on socket 478 and socket 74, 939, and AM2 and AM2 Plus. And then you take some thermal compound, and this thermal compound here is kind of thin, so I have to apply a little bit more than usual than I would if I were to for me. This particular stuff here is kind of cheap, but it works good enough for the video. Anyway, you take the thermal compound and you just simply stick it on your heat spreader. And then you take something like a credit card, driver's permit, or license and you just simply spread it out. Spread the compound across the heat spreader and give you an even contact from your heat spreader to your heat sink. Because if you just simply put your compound straight on the, on the processor in the center and then apply your heat sink, it's not going to spread that stuff out evenly. It's just going to stand in the center and compact. Get really thick in the center. It's not going to spread out like most people think it does. It's been a proven fact that it doesn't work. So the best way to do it is to get you a perfect, even spread across your entire heat spreader to guarantee that all your heat spreader is getting utilized by the thermal paste. You see, as I, you see, I'm doing a final touch to this thing, a nice thin layer of compound. To install the, this particular core, this is where the socket 4 from the 8 platform. In this particular core, you set the, the heat sink down into the retention module over the processor. Make sure it's set evenly down. Then you take your fan, which this particular one has the clips hooked to the fan. You take you take the fan, which has two, which has the retention clips on it. And as you can see, I am hooking the two main ones to one side and taking the other side and locking it down to place. Since it has a swivel lever, you just push it down, lock it in place. And also make sure you plug your fan into a power source such as the header on the motherboard. This is very crucial to make sure your CPU works and doesn't overheat. And the CPU is now installed and ready to use.